Have you ever felt the need of changing something on your V? Maybe change the skin tone or the complexion, maybe the eye color or even the hair. So come with me and find out how you can achieve exactly that. As you might have noticed by now, a lot of mods replace very specific meshes of V, like for example, skin tone number one, or tattoos number four, or hair number two, and so on. So what if you wanna try those mods, but your V do not have those, those features when you created the character? Are you forever locked from even trying those mods or have to start over a new game? Of course not. On this video, I will teach you how you can edit your own saves. And to do that, we will be using CyberCat Simple GUI. But before we get into that, I would love to ask for your subscription. It is so important. And by doing that, you will be notified every time I launch a new video. I'm doing pretty much daily Cyberpunk 2077 mod coverage. So there will be some videos that you will enjoy. I'm sure of it. All right, let's get into it. So let's say you have this save file where you like already at level uh, 27 or something. And you don't, you don't like how you look anymore. So you want to start fresh you want to have a brand new look so how can you do that how can you change that well it's fairly easy with uh cyber cat first of all create a new game so go ahead and it doesn't matter the difficulty level it doesn't matter your life path and i'm gonna leave this default preset and i'm gonna change this just to save your time here on the video but you can create the character the way you want, right? So you just initialize the character, doesn't matter the attributes that you set here, so you can just skip this part, just wait for the initial cutscene so you can save the game. All right, and just go ahead and save your game. You don't really have to quit the game, you can just, if you want, you can just go back to the main menu, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. So we're just gonna minimize the game, I'm gonna go back to Cyberpunk 2077, save editor, and I'm gonna load that save that I just created, which is manual save uh, 205. So just gonna load that file and this will load the appearance of my V character. All these, all the settings that we used are here. So if you mouse over each of those settings, you see why it changed. So it's skin tone 11, skin type five. So this portrait is not an accurate representation of your character. It just show what this part do for your character. So this is the hairstyle only, this is the skin type only, this is the hair color only, this is the eye only, and so on. You could change, you could change this, those values using those uh, sliders here if you want, but I, I think creating the character inside the game is more friendly. Either way, you just go ahead and save this as a preset. You can save whatever you want. I'm gonna save here on the desktop my V preset. Just go ahead and save it. And then I'm gonna load a new save file. Just click here, load a, the other save file. So the save file I would like to change is this quick save slash zero here. And first of all, I'm gonna create a backup of this. I'm gonna copy, paste, and I'm gonna create quick save zero uh, slash copy, just in case. So quick save zero is the one I wanna change. We're gonna go here, load save dot that, and on appearance, I'm gonna load that preset instead of saving. So loading the preset, I saved it on desktop as my V preset. I'm gonna open that preset, and I then gonna click here, save changes. I can choose where I wanna save it. I'm gonna override quick save slash zero. So here, save, replace it. Okay. And then when I go back to the game and I load that save, which was quick save zero, my character will be changed. So there it is. My, my V is now using that preset that uh, we created earlier. Pretty neat, huh? So this is how you can easily change the appearance of your V We're using that app. Pretty dope, huh? And to install this app, head to nexusmod.com and search for Safe Editor Project CyberCat Simple GUI or search for mod number 718. Uh, we're not going to be using Vortex today because this is not a mod, technically. It's more like an app. So we're going to use the manual download instead. Uh, so click here manual, it will download a zip file. A, just decompress it, whatever you want. So here I'm gonna decompress it onto my my desktop. Just gonna create here a new folder, uh, cat, whatever. 
So I just created this folder on my desktop name, uh, named cat. And then, then I'm gonna decompress to that folder. Uh, just have to execute this application. You must install .NET. You undownload it now. You just cl click yes. So it will open Microsoft web page. Then you just go here and download x64. I highly doubt you're using x86 system by 2021, but maybe you are. So just download and install the Microsoft .NET 5.0. And after you do that, it should work. Double click the .x file and there you have it. So this is how you can install and use the CyberCat Simple GUI. I really hope this video was helpful to you. Leave any comments, your feedback, because I would love to improve those videos. Uh, anyway, that will be all for this. As always, thank you so much for watching and I see you next time.